Hi guys, it's your girl Steffi J. Welcome back to my channel. It's been crazy out here with COVID-19 hitting us all by surprise. 2020 has taken its own agenda. So I want to hear most importantly how you guys are doing. So leave me a comment down below letting me know how life has changed for you and how you guys are coping with the situation. That's definitely important too. So for me, I know that my life has taken a toll of every doing everything inside the house and not meaning to say that I'm complaining because I do get quality time with family members, with loved ones, mostly Mike, obviously, because we're supposed to be staying away from each other, as we all know. Um, but we are here dealing with the situation. Life has changed in terms of from going, taking photos outside for Instagram to now doing everything indoors and trying to find activities to keep us afloat. So for you guys, I wanna hear how creative you guys got. So I do my workouts for myself, Mike does his workouts, and we're definitely keeping ourselves busy. And also too, he also works at home. So right now, this is what we are currently doing and facing. That is something that is definitely new. And we don't know how long this is gonna go for in terms of us dealing with COVID-19. But at the same time, we do what we can to make the best out of everything. So definitely let's get into this video. For this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I know that everybody always think about floral prints, I always think about bright colors, but spring doesn't always necessarily have to be about prints and bright colors. I know that some of you guys don't necessarily like bright colors and that's totally okay because sometimes I feel like we need to have a bit of everything in our closet depending on what summer is going to look like for us. So if you're going to be someone that's going to be attending a lot of events, you don't only want to wear bright colors or wear only florals. That is acceptable to have black, whites, and to have different prints inside your closet. So for this video, I actually incorporated different neutral colors and a bit of black and a tiny bit of floral. Let's get started into this video. I'm excited to show you guys the pieces that I actually chose. The first piece that I want to show you guys was this faux leather shirt and this could definitely be worn as a lightweight jacket, almost like an overlay over like let's say a short dress or even a short skirt. Um, if you want to wear something let's say a little bit sexy, like tight, more fitted onto your body, this would definitely be a great way to do so and you can wear this as a jacket over top of it. Now let's talk about the piece itself. The fact that it has two giant pockets in the front, that's definitely useful. My phone can definitely fit into there. The fact that they're real, um, they're real pockets is definitely useful. It does have snap on buttons, which definitely makes it easier for you to put on and to remove, which is ideal for me. If wearing the shirt with a dress is definitely not your style and the look that you're looking for, why not wear the full leather look where you can look black on black and sleek with the baggy pants, but still sexy. These high waisted, high rise uh, baggy pants are definitely perfect. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it makes it look like they are faux leather, but they're not. They're actually jeans. Um, they're stretchy, pretty stretchy material. I like to wear baggy pants with almost like a tomb crop top. And I feel like it just brings out that sexiness. You can use the faux leather top right over it, over your shoulders. Again, almost like a jacket. Or I like to wear this like the tucked in look and then you wear some nice high heel sandals or boots. It does have a zipper in the front. It ties in the waistline. The waistline is more, it's like a skinnier waistline than the actual um, rest of the buttocks area and your hips. So that means that it's a little bit more fitted in your waistline area for sure. It has pockets in the back and the pockets in the front are definitely real. They're real pockets. And what I like about this pants is how comfortable they are. One, two, three, is looking at me Cause I'm no longer gonna be your thing Just a girl on your arm, fell for your charm Ring the alarm, cause I'm running, running, running free Run the world, girl, run the world 
Okay, so I can't play this next song because I don't own the rights to it, but who run the world, girl? Who run the world, girl? Who run the world, girl? Who run the mother? Who run the world, girl? Okay, so this next t-shirt, I needed to buy it because it says, women on it in French. One, I speak French, and then two, girl boss is here. Hey, hey. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the t-shirt first before I show you guys the outfit, but here's the outfit, and then we're gonna talk about the shirt, and then we're gonna talk about the outfit individually. So this outfit, I like the whole cotton t-shirt. The t-shirt is lightweight, it's soft, and it's actually a pretty good quality. And I like the femme print, definitely giving some women empowerment vibes, especially with the big lettering. And then we have the trench coat. Now this is not a trench coat that I would necessarily wear outside during springtime in Canada, because once again, here in Ontario, it's quite cold. So I would not necessarily wear this trench coat. What I do really like about this trench coat is where the belt sits. There's actually a piece of fabric that is covering up the belt. As you adjust it, it makes your waistline more cinch. Um, definitely, again, this makes it more sexier, gives it that vibe, and it makes it a little bit more flirty, kind of giving it like the bell shape. This trench coat does not have pockets. Uh, the pockets are not real pockets. Like, it's not like you can fit your hand into it. And there's a flap in the back, like your typical trench coat here, as you can see. Let's talk about the jeans. These are mom jeans. Those jeans are essential in your closet. Thank me later. Okay, girls? You gotta wear mom jeans. Mom jeans are comfortable, but again, it's kind of like giving me that Aaliyah look where you have baggy pants, but then the waistline is cinched to give you that back, that like that sexy vibe, that sexy look, um, which I do appreciate. And it's so comfortable, the fact that they're baggier. As you can see, it's a looser fit around the leg area and the buttocks area as well. But the leg is also pleated, and that is something that encourages me to wear heels with. Just like I mentioned with the black pair of jeans that I just showed you guys. There are two pockets in the sides right here, and there are two pockets in the back. All the pockets are real, and also too, this denim does not necessarily have a stretch. Maybe a tiny bit of a stretch, but not too, too much of a stretch but it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to wearing all summer long. Let's move on to the next look and see what I have. The These two pieces kind of reminds me of a vacation. I really liked it because how cute is this? Matched up with a pair of flirty pants. Now, the pants almost give you kind of like a, a linen, type of material. It's like it gives you like the vibe of, like I said, a vacation, a cabana, um, a pool party even. I could see myself wearing this to go to the beach. Um, but I do really like it for a hot summer day event. But the cutest part about this top is the back. It has an open type of corset, lace corset type of back. Um, it's really sexy and I'll take anything that looks sexy over anything, so that's totally me. I feel like a black moto jacket would definitely be amazing with this look. In case you were wondering, the corset lacing in the back is definitely adjustable. I went with an extra small for the top and I could definitely go for another size up, which would be a small because my girls are a little bit bigger. But with that being said, I don't think that you have to worry much because of the back it does have a corset type of lacing that you can adjust yourself to make it tighter or you don't lose her. And then the other thing to keep in mind about this top is that the straps are adjustable. Another little plus. So now onto the pants. The pants actually have this really classic stripe pattern on top of it. And it's really cute because the stripes are not too big, which makes it classy. Now in terms of the waistline, there's only an elastic band around the waistline, okay? That makes it um, a little bit more stretchier and comfortable. And then also to the sides, obviously, 
has a zipper, which is amazing to get into. And it's actually easier to get into because I don't see myself like stretching the elastic in the back. Sometimes that might make the elastic a little looser. That and the elastic is not too stretchy, something to watch out for. So it might be a little harder to get in it without the zipper. That's something to keep in mind. And then it is a wide leg type of pants. It's definitely something to keep in mind for just in case if you guys don't like the wide leg. But to be honest with you, the look is perfect. It actually looks pretty cute on and I just can't wait to wear it for an event. How cute are these guys? Aren't they so cute? Waistline is definitely more of a cincher waistline, but then they're kind of like mom shorts and it has like a crocodile print to it and the pockets are real pockets for some odd reason when i stand up wearing these i like to put my hands in my pockets um just it makes me look nice and crisp and fresh i just feel so cute in them for this look i wanted to kind of pair it up with a snakeskin belt let me show you what the snakeskin belt looks like here's the snakeskin belt right here and it's more of like a thicker belt. And I like the fact that there is a little bit of a gold detailing going on. And the back also too has a gold detail right there. So definitely you would wear gold with this just because the nude, the black and everything, something to bring out the outfit would be gold accessories. Definitely. I like to wear the faux leather shorts with this turtleneck. It's really sexy, really cute. And I like to wear it with this fitted one just because uh, when the top is more fitted, the fact that the shorts are more of a looser fit, it just brings out the sexiness up to a level that honestly I can't compare it to. And bringing out the sexiness is definitely important to me. There was actually another shirt that I actually liked, which was like almost like a, a peekaboo type of chest area shirt. And by the way, both shirts are very stretchy in case you guys were wondering. So definitely make sure that you pick a size up just in case if it does shrink in the wash. Now let's move on to the next item that I picked up. Bang, bang, boom, bad, clean the room cause you're pretty dense if you think that I'm through. Okay, so this next look is for the girl who likes to be flirty. I definitely love to have a flirty dress here and there, but this dress, guys has a split like who can hate on a split not me i definitely do like my split in my dresses there's definitely a lot of elasticity in terms of the back of the dress so if you have a bigger bust area this will definitely help um and also too there is a long zipper in the back to help you get into the dress a lot easier the straps are adjustable. It's almost like a linen type of fabric material. It's very like textured, similar to the stripe type of top, like a crop top and the pants that I showed you guys earlier. It's kind of like the same material and it has like that texture. So that is definitely something that I see myself wearing during the summertime for if I'm going to a nice event or even wine tasting. I know wine tasting in a white dress doesn't seem right, but just hear me out. You wear a nice hat, some heels that are not too tall. Tell me, you see, I just see myself on a field somewhere. Tell me that you guys see yourself on a field because I do. I see myself swirling around, having fun, or even a fun day on the beach with some flip flops. That's definitely something that I could see wearing myself on a hot summer day. And let me know what you guys think about this dress. Where would you guys wear this dress? Me, oh my, see the look in my eye. Means no more us, means good goodbye. This romper, you guys saw it in my previous video. Although I did order the black, I wanted to see what the cheetah print looked like. I was actually torn between seeing the cheetah and the black. I feel like the black is timeless, but then the cheetah, cheetah print has been around for years, guys. And it's just super cute and it's flirty. And I do not see cheetah print going anywhere for quite some time. So I will have to think about it, whether or not I wanna return or keep them both. 
that's just for me to figure out, I guess. But just like the other one, this is the exact same thing. It has the keyhole back with two buttons in the back to just secure the way that it just sits on your body. And it has a belt to go around the waistline to cinch the waist. And it also comes out like a bell shape. And it almost reminds you of a dress when you wear it. So when you're standing, it does not look like a romper. It looks more so like a dress. And then the sleeves are bubble type sleeves. It's super comfortable, super lightweight, double lining. That's definitely something to appreciate. Otherwise, this would have been totally see-through. And just like the black one, there is a zipper in the back to just help you get into the shorts area. The shorts area also have like a class type of button closure. And then here you have it. So nice and flirty for you to enjoy a nice summer look. In terms of linen, I went all out, guys. This next piece, again, is a linen type of fabric. Here's a pair of shorts. They're relaxed shorts. Super lightweight, flirty. Again, it's kind of like the same concept as um, the leather, the faux leather actual shorts that I showed you guys earlier. Except for this elastic band kind of like goes around the waistline a little bit more and more towards the front, I would say. You could wear this with a belt. Um, this is more like a paper bag type of style. It's also kind of like a looser fit around the leg area. There are two pockets. They're real pockets. Pockets that you can put your hands into, put things into, definitely essential and it's really textured. So it's even more textured than the white dress and it's even more textured than the actual striped two-piece set that I showed you guys earlier. So definitely something to look out for. And it does not have a zipper, unfortunately, in the front. I would have preferred to have the zipper in the front or at least at the side, just because it makes it easier for me to get in and out of. So for this, you're more so gonna have to like slip into it. Along with a pair of shorts, there was a matching type of relaxed blazer that I picked out. And it's the exact same material. The sleeves are rolled up sleeves, but you can unroll them as well if you don't like rolled up sleeves. And it has two giant pockets. And what I really liked was the buttons in the front. The buttons are almost kind of like a wood type of button and it also has colors that um, are intertwined into one another, which definitely adds some depth into it. So because the blazer is loose and then so is the shorts, I figured that it would be best to wear it with almost like a crop sexy top. Um, you can wear it with a t-shirt or even a bodysuit. That would be the other option that I would take. But for this one, I went along with a bustier type of top. Just because a bustier top is really cute. It's lace. It has a different texture than the linen itself. So it adds more detail to the overall look. So it's an essential as well in the closet. You don't have to wear it with the shorts. You can wear it with jeans. You can throw over a, a jacket, a denim jacket, whatever you want. But I felt like this would be a really sexy, kind of cute look with it. The lace is only in the front and not in the back. The back is almost like a see-through, but not too see-through. As you can see, you can't exactly see my hand behind it. But for those of you, in case you were wondering, this could definitely be worn with other things other than the shorts. I just figured that for this look, it can kind of be a little bit more sexy. And also to the straps, the straps are adjustable. There are clasps that could be undone, just like a bra in the back. And uh, the detail, the lace also goes all the way around the waistline and the bust area. So there you have it. So I don't know what it is about moto jackets. I think I mentioned this in my previous video. I love moto jackets so much. I can never get enough of them. So this one would be my first off-white moto coat. I love moto coats. And I think that they just go so well with a lot of pieces in my closet. They're the most versatile coat that I 
actually own. So because this was my first, I could not let this go. This was definitely important for me to purchase this. Um, it's off-white, not completely white. And I like the details that it has in the front. So the details uh, are the buttons and then the zipper. And it also has the fake pocket here. And then the only thing that is real in terms of pockets are the side pockets at the bottom. So as you can see, there's one side pocket here. The side pockets, they're both real side pockets. I can actually fit my hand into there and there's quite a bit of room in there. Although the motor jacket is kind of a tiny motor jacket, which is kind of cute. Um, almost cropped, but not quite. Also too, the quality is pretty good. It's pretty heavy on that end aspect of things. And then also too, I like the detail in the arm area. So it's almost like there's like an extra cinch to add in some depth to the actual coat. And the lining is perfect. So the black lining, again, that's like a kind of like a black and white type of thing going on. Um, super cute. And then there's also some detailing in the back and detailing um, also in the middle of the back of the jacket. But most importantly, what I did like about this was the actual belt that it had along the bottom of the coat. I have different options of different types of dresses that you can wear with it. I thought this flirty little dress would definitely go really well with it with the bubble sleeves. Um, not because it has bubble sleeves, but just because it's a really, really cute dress. It has like a really nice neckline. Um, it's almost like a, a weird shaped neckline. It's like a sweetheart neckline, but as well as it goes up, almost like a square shape type of neckline. The back is an open back. There is a zipper in the back as well, and it goes pretty low to help you fit into the dress as well. And I like how there was a bit of an elasticity in the back just in terms of comfort and then for you to be able to slide into the dress really well. The bottom almost has a little bit of fringe going on, makes it just really girly and really flirty. The other option for dresses that I thought looked super cute was more fitted. I wore this dress um, to an event and people were asking me where on earth did I get this dress? It's one shoulder. Something about one shoulder dresses, guys, when your shoulders are out, it's just a different vibe. It's just so hot. There's a, like a hotness. I got so many compliments by wearing this dress. Unfortunately, this dress is no longer on the website, but there are similar dresses that you could definitely get. Um, I will actually give you guys a suggestion of something that would go similar, kind of like the dress, the coral dress that I had in my previous video, that would definitely be a really good option uh, for the Motoko. The split right here just kicks everything up a notch and it's just perfect. It has that slit uh, right in the front of your leg area. And there's a lot of detail to this dress. Although it's a black dress, I have to give it to Dynamite. Designing this dress to make the dress like that sassy um, adding the detail, just that little one split and it being one shoulder just did that trick. As I promised, I would bring out some neutral, some black, but also some floral. So this last print is a floral print. It's a flirty type of day at the park type of dress, party dress, cocktail hour. Um, the cleavage has a bit of a cleavage and the floral print is kind of cute. Um, I like roses. That's one of the things that I have to admit is I love, love roses. I mean, look at this. The roses, they're so romantic. Uh, the red roses along with a bit of pink. There's a little bit of yellow and green going on with the solid type of black background. The other thing too is the chiffon material. Definitely a good choice for this dress to make it more flirty. Um, it has a fringe going on along every single uh, side of the dress, even the arm area and at the bottom of the dress. And it has its own self-tie belt. So the belt is definitely adjustable 
It also has kind of like um, areas, like keyhole areas for you to actually put on the belt so that the belt actually sits on the waistline in the perfect area. I would per se that for springtime, I would be wearing this dress with this throw on. This throw on is definitely an essential. It's warm and the sleeves are a little bit different. It's more of like a baggier, looser fit type of sleeve. And I feel like it's more kind of like a cape type of throw on. It's open, there are no buttons, but there are big pockets for you to fit your phone in, to fit everything that you would fit onto your mini purse, that is. So definitely something to admire. And also to the fabric is super thick. This is definitely an essential to have into your closet, even to throw onto a pair of jeans that you are currently wearing for the day. And if you know that the temperature is going to drop, this is definitely important to have and to carry along with you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see all your comments and to see what you guys have to say, any suggestions that you have for me, what you guys would like to see from me next. And also I can't wait to hear about how you guys are living with your quarantine life, how creative that you guys have to be. So some of the things that you guys have to do, definitely if you have Instagram, let me know. I would love to see your Instagram or even subscribe to your Instagram. So that is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Also feel free to look at my blog, Point Intended, and as well my, as my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I will see you soon.